This is One on One. We are pleased to welcome uh, Martina Mayok, who is a playwright, and she has a new play called Queens. It's playing at the... LCT3 Theater at Lincoln Center, at the Claire Tao Theater. We are right here in yeah, Lincoln yeah. Center. <laughs> who are you, and, and do you, in fact, come from Poland? I do, originally. yeah. You settled in beautiful Kearney, New Jersey, right. which I know well because I'm from the next That's town right. over in Newark. We're friends. Yeah. Harrison is in between. Yeah, yeah, it depends yeah. on where you are. Yeah. yeah. Is it true there was a bar at every corner in Harrison? You don't I know guess. these things, okay. Yeah, I mean, listen, I was like, I mean, I mean, no, right? Because I never went to bars. Where you no did not? Where, no, okay. of course Describe the neighborhood yeah, yeah. you grew up in in Kearney. Uh, it's K-E-A-R-N-Y. Y, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no E's, no E's. So, so a big, like, immigrant neighborhood, working class. Um, everybody was from somewhere else. Like, I, like a thing that I would the, notice is that while kids were learning to, to walk, their parents were learning to speak English, like That's a lot right. of the things. So, um, yeah, like big A melting pot? Yeah. Yeah, everyone was from somewhere else, which is really, I think there's a lot of places that, like, will, uh, there'll be one specific immigrant nationality in a place where it's right. like this this was everybody was from 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 every from everywhere because so. my neighborhood in newark was yeah. virtually all italian there was always yeah. one irish kid <laughs> um but it was but you had a real true melting pot yeah um describe the play uh queens is a three act three hour play i swear it's funny uh all my plays are like these like seemingly depressing sad <laughs> stories it's like it's like my friend calls them hear me out plays it's like i have to like tell what it's about but then like, say hear me out it's funny that's right like it's entertaining all this but stuff. this is so funny it's, it's funny yeah it's funny okay it's funny you Got know it. uh well, you, you need humor you need humor for like the for, for political theater where does your humor come from uh deep sadness and <laughs> stop no, like, you, like this. I guess like a hard upbringing. I think it's like you. You're, my perspective about what's funny, like, um, it, it, it has to cost you something. Like somebody, some, somebody's, um, uh, uh, what they find, what they find funny has to do with their experiences growing up. And so, like, if your experience is, um, uh, has has been dark, the way the way that you survive is through humor. Um, you don't really think about that. It's just like it's part of your who you. So who Queens, you are. she's yeah. interrupting the Queens. Connected to your childhood in Poland? Yeah, I was born in Poland. My family saw back there. My mom is here. Um, she's still in Jersey. And um, when we came over, my mom like, worked in the factories, like off one and nine, and right. you know, Jersey City and um, Elizabeth. And um, we had to leave. Uh, we had to leave our entire family behind. So our growing up was um, really low income, um, super working class, uh, while also, while you know, similarly was difficult back in Poland. Uh, and Queens, um, I lived a little. I lived for a little bit in Queens. I was living in Ridgewood, um, but uh, the play is about um, a group of immigrant women who, at some point in their histories, have were all based in the same basement apartment in Queens, and it travels 17 years of time. Uh, so, uh, some of the same same actresses play their the mothers and their own eventually Americanized daughters over time, um, and it kind of looks at the what. Um, what you have to, or what you eventually end up mm. having to leave behind when you were trying to move your life forward in the lives of other of your of your family. But yeah, the but name, my upbringing. But yeah. the name yeah. Queens yeah. is a geographical locator, but it is also something else. Well, yeah, yeah, it's about women uh, who. Yeah, well, our regal and their their um, they have their own domains. They have their own kingdoms. They uh, they're the ones who are upholding. You told our producer their, something else. Women who so, run. Women who, what's that? Women who run blank. Women who, I mean, women who run but I can't say that online. <laughs> I can't say that, right? <laughs> well, listen, we, we, then we'll, we'll bleep that out. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's <laughs> it. Basically it. Yeah. They I mean, get they have stuff to. done. Yeah, yeah. They have to. They have to. You're going to have time. They have to. They have to. Look, what, what are you going to do? You, can, you, you, you have to make money. You have to, you have to like, live your life. You have to put food on the table. You have to do these things. Uh, and so, so they're trying to the best of their abilities. I think when you come to the people, when immigrants come to this country, they are given, at least, at least my experience, like the, you are given an idea. America sells itself as a certain kind of thing. What's the reality? It's harder than they than they let on, you know. It's I I think um, it's not egalitarian. It's not really um, uh, the, it's not equal equal playing field for a lot of people. Um, but it's hard to tell that to other people when um, you're just uh, you're when you're in it when you're in it yourself. Does that um, sound? Do you think it sounds for some quote unpatriotic to hear you say that? 
that someone say, hey, I mean, wait a minute, you're here. I mean, I think you, it, you have opportunity. The whole yeah, thing, but I think that's the responsibility to make sure that that is actually true. I mean, because uh, I know a lot of people for whom that's not true. I feel like I'm an outlier from a lot of the people that I grew up with. You, you are. Know? The fact yeah. that you were, you've had other, you had two other plays that uh, yeah. they were. It was a play called Ironbound. Ironbound, another. Newark. Oh my God! <laughs> For those, you search Ironbound <laughs> section of Newark, which yeah. was in a, historically a Portuguese section that's yeah. even more eclectic than ethnically and culturally than ever before. Yeah. Separates Carney Harrison. That's right. And, and Newark. Newark. Oh my God! Yeah. We are getting yeah. so yeah. provincial here. Yeah, yeah. It's and what's the called? The cost of cost of living. Cost of living. Which? What, how did you know that you were going to write? Um, I didn't. I wasn't really a thing that I was supposed to do, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm an immigrant. I mean, uh, my mother was the one who made the journey, and I was like, I guess I'm going along for the ride. I came really <laughs> young. I didn't have much of a choice in the matter. But, um, you know, you got to come here and be a doctor and, like, be a lawyer and take care. Like, there's no, um, I have to, like, buy my mom a house. There's no like, contract that says, like, because you're an immigrant kid, you have to, like, take care of your parents. But, like, I should have bought her a house. So when I was going into writing, and that's the thing that I was pulled to, she was like, oh, please, please don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. Get a real me. job. Get a real job. Get a, like, I have an office, please, something. Oh my God. <laughs> so, and you said, I got to do this. I, well, yeah, I kind of couldn't you knew? help it. I, not really. I mean, I, I didn't see theater until I was like uh, 18 years old. Um, but you knew you had stories to tell. Yeah, well, I had stories, but there was, um, it was dangerous to tell them. Um, when I was uh, going to school, I, I, I was the kid who would like bring in 25 pages uh, when the assignment was like two pages because I had I had things to say, things, things to, to write say. about. I had said there was stuff going on at home um, that actually could have, if, if people knew about it, could have mm -hmm. incriminated my family. You know, um, people have no idea, do they? Yeah, yeah. What other people deal with? Yeah, yeah. You mind if we plug again? Yeah, it's just do plug. The play is called Queens. Yeah. Right here in Lincoln Center? Right here in Lincoln Center. Where? At the Claritel Theater, I was like, Theater. I just wanted you to say it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Martina. We wish you nothing but the best. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Well Great done. Great to meet you. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to try. All right. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Be right back right <laughs> after this. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET Studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by TD Bank, the Russell Berry Foundation, PSENG, Adler Aphasia Center, the law firm of Gibbons PC, the New Jersey Office of the Insurance Fraud Prosecutor, and by NJM Insurance Group. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.